YouTube. I cheated again. So at the beginning of this giga prismatic climb that I'm supposed to be going from Ascension 0 through 20 without losing, I started on Ascension 4 because I thought I was on Ascension 4, but I'm an idiot and I can't count. And so I played a few of those runs, then I figured out, oh, sh I need to go back and play Ascension 0 and through 3. I played Ascension 0, I beat the heart. I played Ascension 2, I beat the heart, proving that I could have on this run, technically, I don't know, it doesn't really make any fucking sense, but it's my challenge, I made it, I made the rules, everybody in chat said it would be boggers, and so I did it, and then, uh, so I, I've completed now Ascension 0 through however many, and I get to Ascension 15, I get to Act 4, and I say, fuck it. I'm just going to go to Ascension 16. I don't believe that because I have, you know, this variance of Metamorphosis and Chrysalis carrying my run, it's too much RNG. It's too much variance. I can't trust it. And I need to just say, I'm going to go to Ascension 16. But of course, for the content, I'm going to play the, the heart fight out and see if I can win. And if you watched last video, I did. I did win. Now, here's my dumbass, okay? I am preparing for my next day's stream because I didn't do it with the next Ascension. I didn't do Ascension 16 on my next day. And, I, and, and I'm doing what we all do. I procrastinate preparing until the last moment. And I turn on my VOD to see, oh, did I beat Ascension 15 yesterday? I'm, I don't remember exactly how it ended up. And I, and I look in the VOD and I'm like, oh, yeah, I beat Ascension 15 the other day. So I must be on Ascension 17 now. So I turn on my stream. I play Ascension 17. And I lose in Act 2. And it honestly broke me. I banned somebody because they, they they typed the emote baby rage. <laughs> and I thought that I had lost. This was Friday of last week. And turn around to late in my stream on Monday. A person comes in and says, yo, dude, I was watching the VOD. You weren't supposed to be on Ascension 17. The run is still alive. Think about this. If I play Ascension 16 and I weren't to fight the heart, and I were to go to Ascension 17, that Ascension 17 has already happened. I lost. The run would be void. But if I play on Ascension 16, and I beat the heart, then technically, I would have jumped over Ascension 17. And I wouldn't have never needed to be on Ascension 17. So that Ascension 17 run is null and void. We're pulling out of our ass right now, all right? Again, at the end of the day, this isn't a competitive thing between other people. I'm trying to make fun and good content. And for you guys to go down in the comments and type scam, you're a scammer, you're the worst. Let's start some Slay the Spire drama. Apparently that gets you a lot of views. Uh, but either way, uh, yeah, we're playing Ascension 16 today because it's not over. If I can beat the heart on this run, then we're back in. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, give it a like, give it a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If this ain't a fucking intro to subscribe for, I don't know what is. The stakes are on. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. So we know that I've only been playing the, the, the Ironclad and the Watcher. And now, technically, I played the Ironclad on Ascension 15. But then I played the Watcher on Ascension 17. So who the fuck am I supposed to play on Ascension 16? Then? Either way, it doesn't line up with me rotating between the characters. The Silent... Oh, the silent and the defect are so bad for this challenge, man. I lost like seven times in a row on Ascension 4 for the silent with this. Watcher since 17 isn't real. It's not real yet. Yeah, 17. No, it's not that 17 didn't count. It's that 17 doesn't count yet. Not only do I have to play well in this run, but I have to play for the Giga win. It has to be the Giga win. It's so stressful, man. Frost Prime when trying to, to play the Giga Prismatic in the right order. Let's see. So we are in 2017. Hmm. So 2016, 2015, 2014, 2013, 2010. What the hell? <laughs> it's the genuine confusion. He's like, yeah, what the hell? This doesn't make any sense. I have five fingers, but I went back seven years. Okay. Chat, it's time. Chat, it's fucking time. Now that I have bullshitted my way into this run, there's no way. Is this a boss relic swap? This is a boss relic swap seed? What the f Where are the elites, man? You go down the center of this map where there's campfires and there's no goddamn elites. Or you go this way and it's like elite, elite, and then finally you get a rest. Oh no. 
Maybe just the upgrade. I, I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough if you get weakness. If you get, if you get, if you get weak cards and you commit to this way, you just suck. Like you, you just lose going this way. So you need to know if you have power through this or not. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a quick walk. Chat. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a quick walk. I'm gonna take a. Bing Bong's not the worst. We've actually, we've actually like come to the conclusion that Bing Bong might be one of the strongest starts in the entire game. How does Bing Bong work? You obviously get a curse that you can't remove, but you also get three relics. One common relic, one uncommon relic, and one rare relic. You get one of each. Common relics that we would love to see is a lot of them. There's a lot of common relics that provide a lot of early Bring power. To the motor a lot of early power. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of early power. Vajra, Pennib, uh, preserved insect. A lot of a lot of a lot of common relics are very damage bang bing focused, right? Then you get into the uncommon relics. You're gonna get pogged up things like eggs. Oh, an egg right now, and I would um, I would come. I don't care which egg it is. It doesn't matter because we're on the prismatic. We're, we're giga prismatic right now. It doesn't fucking matter. And then finally, you get to the rare relic side of things where there is a billion good options. And then there's stone calendar <laughs> uh, and 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 digging. I don't want it. I want those. I don't want those. I'd love a Tory, a tungsten rod. Um, Plenty of very, very, very good things. A dead branch. Ooh, I would yum, 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 on an early dead branch. Let's see what we get. Bing bong. Akabeko molten egg. Oh, fuck yeah. I kind of want to go this way now. Like, I kind of want to go. I want to get in the fucking trenches right now, man. Let's do it. Thank you for subscribing. Bing bong bringing the punk. Always does, man. Okay, next time we draw eruption, we're in really good shape. In Tropic Brew. We can get a perfected strike plus. <laughs> I think I might take Dark Embrace instead. There's a lot of things that combo with it, even though it's not the best thing to start. See we get. I love that this is a fight, actually. I'm a big fan of that being a fight. Oh, I gotta remember that I don't have my Miracle. Yep. Okay, these are these are these are not these are not attacks, man. I need attacks. Like I'm literally asking for attacks. Shrug's not bad. Shrug's not terrible. I'm just not happy with it. But now it makes me want to go this way and go a safer path. $150. Could go $150 right to here. Or I can just go this way and I can see. But this, so this shop right here gives you two guaranteed attacks. Every shop will give you two attacks, two skills, and a power. So I'm, and then obviously colorless cards. It could also be attacks, but I'm not really as interested in those. But these will always be watcher attacks too, so we could find something like tantrum. So I think I'm gonna take this. Twenty percent chance of being a fight. Giga I idol. regret doubting, but I'm here for the long haul. Wheel kick plus and a crescendo. Fuck yeah. And then we should get our final attack upgraded, or we upgrade one of these. Because this is essentially like a like a rushdown minus, right? Why do you always choose to take minus max HP? Because it is the least detrimental to what's like in front of you. Um, let's pop this. We get absolutely nothing good. We'll pop that though. There's a good chance we can kill you next turn with two strikes and, a, and, a, and an eruption still down there. <clears throat> so either you take 20 or you take 20. Made it just in time. 
I hope Mr. Streamer doesn't choke. I'm not gonna choke, chat. Do I look like someone that chokes ever? Do I seriously look like someone that would choke? This does draw me one. No, it doesn't draw me any cards, actually. So yeah, it's not good to go into eruption here. You cheated. Okay, cheating is not choking. It's very different. <laughs> cheating and choking are very different things. I will have you know. Joe, thank you for the 13 months. I would... I would let Hannah choke on me. I would not let her cheat on me. <laughs> Joe, thank you for the 13 months. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Blade Dance is really good with this Dark Embrace, isn't it, guys? Let's focus on that real quick. What the hell did I just hear? The truth, man. Wait, you can't handle it? Entropic Brew is back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I like this for knowledge early on. Just to know what you're getting into is really nice. All right, energy upgrades are the best, I think, right now. With Without the miracle starting. We want to go here. We actually want more combat. Combat is fine for us. Confirmed frost is thick downstairs, front to back. <laughs> Thanks, man. Mm, Sentinel would be good if we had a way to target it to kill it, but we don't. Do we want to go remove another card? I do a little bit. But I don't think it's good enough. I think without the prospect of being able to buy a... Without the ability to be able to buy a relic if, you, if there's like something that's really good spotted, you know? It's just not worth it. We should use this. Nice. Consume? Yeah, these are fucking ass. Don't get me wrong. Wild Strike's really good damage. It is pretty good damage for one energy. 34 damage for one energy is pretty hot. Uh, I think Eruption Upgrade is better than Feel No Pain right now. We'll do Feel No Pain right before the boss. Again, we are taking fights because we have fucking Molten Egg. You're drunk high if you're not taking fights right now, man. Does reacting to the stream help you? No. Thanks for asking, though. Uh, 28 times 2. You know why reacting doesn't help streamers at all? Because one, there's no, like, promotion if you get a bunch of reactions on your stream. Right? Like, it's not like if people react a bunch to, like, pog or face or something that it, like, goes off. Um, but also at the end of our streams every day, we just see what you guys reacted. We don't see when you reacted, how, like, like we see how many people reacted with like a poggers, but like, bro, if I stream for five or six hours, how do I know it was poggers? Was it the hour at the end of my stream when I was looking up hot dudes on Google images to see what kind of haircut I wanted to get? Is that, was that the poggers moment? Was that it? Was that when you guys were reacting? Yay. Hypers. Oh, somebody said Resident Sleeper. Was that when I was playing high-end gameplay? Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Getting a little bit hype there. Um, we need a little bit more defense. Potentially. Either that or we could just take a battle. Hmm. The, the description says, let streamers know about specific moments. Yeah. And <laughs> I can tell you, 100%. They ain't letting us know jack fucking shit. All right, what do we got? What do we got in the potion? New bit alert oh, it's so good, man. It's so good. Watch this, though. Watch this. You ready? 
Bang. Bang. Are you hot and heavy, baby? The mic was in the way? It literally wasn't. You saw the, the alert happen just fine. He's going to win. He's going to do it. He's going to suck his dick. Probably lost a little bit more HP than I needed to, but... Uh, Spirit Shield's really good, actually. Because you can create more cards in your hand with Blade Dance. We also draw a lot. We also have Retain. So I think Spirit Shield's really good here. I give it the 1500 bits, by the way. Handies with Molten Egg Plus. Ooh, I, it's got to be it. It's got to be it. It's a box angle, man. We haven't removed a single striker defend either. This isn't solitaire like my brother said it was, but I could sol... No, there's no D's joke there. Oh, man. Oh, that's kind of good. The weave is like the weakest card there. Imagine nine clashes. Can't get those. Can only get watcher cards. Stinky. All right, what if we just rode question marks now? Look at those attacks. Oh, I'm looking, man. My, these are my eyes right now. Are you seeing them? Are you? Are you a bozo? I, I need to. I need to ask you this. Are you a bozo? Are you stupid? Should I take a halt plus? No. Yes. No. I don't think so. I'm going to spin the wheel and not take any damage. Watch this. I'm actually going to get a full heal here. It's going to be pretty sick. Oh, it's pretty good. You're going to remove the weave. It's pretty bad. I got to pee. All right, then go piss, man. Go piss, girl. Oh. Do I need to remove any other cards? Um, Honestly, no, I don't know. <clears throat> I think we're good other than that, man. Uh, we could take a potion. Swivel? I think swivel's okay. Works well with, like, Ragnarok and stuff. Remove the bell. Ooh. And also, I'm not going to do anything here because I'm going to go to this shop, too. I'm just going to go to the next shop. I'll kill you. <clears throat> um, I think it's better to do this. So true. So true. R.I.P. Doubters. Do I take a genetic algorithm or a pommel? No, it's a pommel plus. That's always pommel plus angle. Um, is it just master of strategy here? It'd also be, no, it's not duality. It's not spoon. Uh, um, strike dummy doesn't really do anything. Chat, spoon is so bad. Shut up. Yeah, I think it's master of strategy. Maybe a gamby. Yeah, we want to exhaust things. Exhaust is good. Exhaust is good, chat. You can let it out. You don't need to hold it in any longer. Okay, I know that you're tired. We need to upgrade energy costs. You don't like spoon, so why would I want spoon? This is this is this is like me trying to teach you with questions. This is not me trying to be like, uh, like condescending or anything. Why would you want a spoon when you have one shivs, bad cards to not exhaust and to go in your discard pile? Two, you have a lot of synergy with exhausting cards. When you exhaust cards, good things happen. When I don't exhaust cards, the good things don't happen. Now, of course, there's like talk to the hand that you'd be like, okay, maybe that doesn't exhaust. But like the other things, you like exhausting. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna rest here. Then we'll go fight an elite combat. Omamori. Uh, that could be really good for next act. Hitting the 999 gold event with our membership card could be pretty sick. YouTube frog here for content tax. Sneko potion angle? I think it might be a Sneko potion angle. Oh, this was a terrible fucking Sneko potion. <laughs> um. Hey. Oh, 
Okay. All things be it. Not not as bad as I as I as I wanted it to be. Yo, Luki. Thank you for the four months. If it was worse, I get to complain more. Panacea? Panacea does combo with a lot of things. I'm just questioning whether or not my deck is a little bit too thick right now to be able to take it. We don't have enough card draw. Like, it synergizes once you have Dark Embrace in play, but before then, it's just kind of useless, right? But it's pretty good. I think it's good enough. Hey, Stabby Book. Question, do you have painful stabs? Second question, do you have painful poops? Do you think this Stabby Book has painful shits? And that's why they're angry this entire time? <clears throat> Yeah. Poor guy. <clears throat> I don't see a single place where Stabby Book could poop from. So it has to be painful. <laughs> also, Caliper's coming into play here. Caliper's finally popping off for the first time. Huge, man. Ooh, that's a Tori! And an Exhum? Uh, pretty please, I would say, for that. If you said, hey, Tristan, do you want an Exhum? I would say, yes, pretty please! Just like that. I should have played this potion. <laughs> Double dead, triple dead. Kill tacular. Do I want a mental fortress? I don't think so, right? We don't really need it. Just not necessary. It bloats. Bloats the deck. All right, upgrade energy costs. If you haven't learned the lesson now of what we're upgrading, I don't know what to tell you. Let's play it safe here. I finally got a win with taking uh, the run without taking damage achievement. Ooh, and death must die. That's awesome. Congratulations. You must be very proud of yourself. And I would like to let you know, I'm also very proud of you. <clears throat> Uh, energy potion, please, and thank you. A skim? Yeah, a little more card draw never hurt anybody. Let's upgrade collect. Getting one guaranteed miracle with our feel no pain, exhum, draw billions of cards combo seems really good. Seems quite good for business. Let's hold off on playing things. Pretty good, a good Ragnarok off here. Excuse me, I would like to draw Ragnarok, please. Four giga damage. Wow, that was so sick. Are you guys impressed with how much damage I just did? What do I want to bring back here? Is it collect? Or is it another crescendo? I think it might be crescendo. Four. Giga damage! Another hand? No, because we're about to to break this guy in half, right? Which means that then he sheds that effect. So it's not quite as good. Uh, let's just draw here. Damn, I was actually hoping we didn't draw Ragnarok. This turn, he's not going to do anything to me. We get free reign to hit him in the face. 
And then next turn, hopefully we have enough damage to just straight up make you not alive anymore. Oh, wow, we're so good at that. Zero damage. Champ fight. Chad, do you think this uh, deck beats the heart, maybe? Champ fight? More like the chump fight. <sighs> CE is Poggy AoE. Okay. Poggy? I agree with you. Necessary. Running into some pick em ups. I uh, actually really kind of like the Meteor Strike. I like Meteor Strike here. Uh, I think it synergizes a lot with what our deck does. We have Swivel to get it off. We have Miracles to get it off. Um, we have Getting Out of Wrath to get it off, or Getting Out of Calm to get it off. We have a lot of ways to get it off. Yeah, I think Meteor's Pog. We have Sacred Bark, man. We have Sacred Bark with White Beast. We could have, we could have Sacred Bark plus White Beast. Or I could take Sneko. <sighs> <laughs> Sneko is going to be there to tempt me, man. It always is. It always is going to be there to tempt me. But also, is it really good, though? We upgraded so many energy costs. That's so true. We spent this entire run upgrading our energy costs. That's so true. <laughs> All right. Well, if we did that, let's take the Sacred Bark then. I'm going to be the good player. Wait, is it Dome, though? Dome does make life a little bit easier. But, like, how much easier? I think it's just Sacred Bark. I think Sacred Bark's way too good here. I think it's Sacred Bark. And then we just go for the Burning Elite and just have a good day. All right. Let's try to go here and see if we can't get 999 gold for the shop. We can get on a double shop path. We have Juzu Bracelet to, to, to increase our odds of getting there. So this is, uh, this is looking really good. My sunk cost brain will start shrieking like a banshee if you pick Sneko with all the energy upgrades you did. Ma! He didn't take Sneko I Get in here! Ma! Yeah, Sacred Bark is the one that doubles effectiveness of all potions. Yeah. The answer to this is yes. I absolutely want to fight these guys. Absolutely. These guys are easy peasy squeezy. Lemon pee pee even, you could even say. Maybe I should have done that first. Who knows? Wow, good turn. I got a Pogalized Helix. A second heal no pain? Am I fighting Woke Man? I am not fighting Woke Man. <sighs> okay, didn't get didn't get the event that we wanted. Do we want madness? I don't think so, right? We could take this for itty bitty heal. We don't really have another use for it. Alright. <sighs> I got the nice heal. It was very nice. The other Omomori is going to be saved for the, the Tangled Beast. Hog. Yo, Weird Man, thank you for the two years. Welcome to the Giga Stinky Club. Seriously, welcome to the Giga Stinky Club. I appreciate the freaking heck out of you. Thank you. Ask me how much of a freaking heck I appreciate out of you. Ask me right now.
How good is that? Not very, right? It's not even that. No, it's not good. It's like not good at all. No, you don't want this. That is bait. Insert the gif of that everybody puts on Twitter underneath every single post at literally every single one these days since you can make money off of just getting clicks. Uh, that's really good. That's really good. For subscribing. Is there a card that we Divinity want to remove isn't now? Even that good above Should we get rid of Shrug it off, you think? <laughs> Probably, right? Shrug it off seems pretty bad. Why play one mana for eight block when you can pay two mana for eight block? That just seems way better, right? Yo. Ah. Bro, thank you for the 13 months. Chat, if you don't type a boba in chat right now, I'm going to press the button. I'll fucking do it. Test me. Uh, what's the play here? It's probably to do this, this, play whatever it landed on. You hope that it would land on the Meteor Strike, but we don't complain. So true, bestie, so true. I don't want to draw more cards here, so we're going to do it in this order. Oops, I drew a card on accident. Oopsies, I'm so bad. <laughs> I drew a card. Whoopsies. I just love being bad. It's what it is, you know? Yo, thank you for the Giga Raid. Holy. Hey, I got another egg. You think more eggs are good? Wait, do you think the more eggs, the better? Oh. <sighs> There might be some validity behind that statement. Holy. Draw me one card. Draw me another card. That's a good one. Do you see what this deck is doing, chat? And are you pogging? Yes or no? <clears throat> Both Tristan and Andrew make good content. Well, if everything that Andrew uploads is me, wouldn't that mean that in turn? Uh, I could take a work guy plus. I'm also just lazy. No. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, alright. Fuck me, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Jesus Christ. I can just put a nail through my head. Just nail me right in the head. Andrew just makes react content to Frost VODs. Wait, that's so true and based. God, you are so based. That's so true. Wait, do you think I should sue Andrew for stealing my content? Wait, I should sue him.
We have no strength. I don't have a reason to take a limit break plus. All right, a billion dollars going into a shop. Uh, Torrent Adopter is pretty good. I do like a boat thingy. I could also make five potions as well. Hey, these are all good. Get rid of you, take you, drink that, plus 10. Um... If I can get an... Oh, I do have Artifact. Do I even have block cards, though? I don't even have block cards. I literally have one block card in my entire deck. Two block cards. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Do I have a potions tier list? Yeah, whatever you, whatever potions you say are S tier, I also say is S tier. Hi, Frost Prime, professional fence sitter here. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Uh, this is an annoying turn. Let's go here. Panaceas. So that we can draw some cards. Fuck yeah. I figured it out. This is awesome. Bang! Very cool. Uh, we can only get to four energy here. I'm gonna big zoom. Could just stay in wrath, honestly. Like what's what's stopping us from just staying in wrath here? My own fear of the unknown. It's the one card I didn't want to draw. All right, get me out of wrath. Damn it, I'm, ta I'm, I'm, I'm taking damage by two here. Is there anything I can draw? I guess I could draw a wound. Ow. I would have drawn a wound. So much draw in this deck. It's so nice. Wow, this deck is so cool. Swivel me timbers. Bag of pee. Wait, overclock is just really good. Wait, is overclock a broken card for us? We have medkit plus the ability to play those wounds for eight block plus one draw. Zero mana draw for eight block eventually. It's really good. I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a little broken. Uh, yeah, Frost. That is like a little bit broken. Mm, I did the math. That's freaking broken. So close to the giga win. We're going to get there. Do you believe me? That was a good amount of block that we just got there. Uh, I like a duplication potion better, I think. Swivel plus? No, thanks. I'll just make my own. I like. I'm still very tense right now. Could somebody please massage my shoulders? Hello, Donu and Deka. It's time for you to fucking die.
How is this legal? Too much damage, I know. Sometimes I look at my own hands and I say, should these be able to be wielded by one man? Bang! Gung 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 gung. I could have played the empty fist, but that would have been stupid. Look at the perfectly set up pen nibbler. Because I'm going to nibble on the Act 4 Elites. Well played, Mr. Streamer. Well played. Thanks. Uh, upgrade the Panacea for the hard fight. It's really good. This is the potion that we wanted to see. It's the exact fucking potion I wanted to see. Nibble all over them. Sounds like you're trying to replace the word nib with cum. Is that what you're trying to do there? Chat, let's remind everybody what is on the stake. What is, what is that stake here? All right. We're in technicality zone. I played Ascension 15 of the Giga Prismatic Challenge, where if I defeat the heart, I get to skip an Ascension. And that would mean I go to Ascension 17. But I decided not to fight the heart. And I said, I'm not going to fight the heart. I'll go play on Ascension 16. And then I played the heart to see if I could have won. And I did. And I mistakenly went to Ascension 17, thinking that it was time to take on my PB, and I lost. But we figured out that I was supposed to be on Ascension 16. It only took four days to do that. Which means that if I beat the heart on this run right now, I would technically skip Ascension 17, and that run would never exist existed. It would be in an alternate timeline. The only way that that Ascension 17 run would technically exist would be if I don't beat the heart right now. Because then I would have to go to Ascension 17, which we've already know has happened, and I lost. But if I skip it, if I just go, bing, basically, basically, this is like Avengers Endgame. What if, in, what if, Instead of having to fight Frost of, of winning Thanos winning to and snapping power. away half the universe, what if they went back in time, challenged him to hopscotch, fucking beat his ass in the past, and then just got to jump over the timeline where he kind of killed him and stuff? Yeah, A17 is not a canon event. So yeah, uh, I say I wanted the, this potion. I don't actually. This is a terrible potion. Why would I ever take it? Yeah, I don't want any of these potions. They're terrible. The only thing I might want here is this cut through fate plus. I do think I want it. Okay. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Dormammu, I'm going to come. Dormammu. Oh. The time is slowly breaking apart. I don't know how much longer it can handle this. So please win so it stops imploding on itself. Because I got just luck. Because I got clothesline. Clothesline's not terrible. Again, I just don't think that I need it. I genuinely don't. Maybe I'm a little bit greedy. And maybe I'll lose. But I'll be damn sure that I avenge it. He's Avengers pilled. He's Avengers pilled. Okay, do we just gamblers brew this entire hand? Like, you play Panacea, and then you just gamblers brew everything. Right? You play Panacea, and then you go Gamba. Okay. Hey, chat. Here's all of my stuff. When is fasting a good card? A lot of times. I just don't think it's good right now. If you look at our deck, 
We have one card that says gain block. Two cards that says gain block. The rest of our deck... I have three cards, sorry. Uh, but the rest of our deck doesn't actually say gain block. We gain block through alternative ways. So half of the fasting card doesn't really matter to us. So That's why specifically now, it's not good. Uh, we could dupe the Feel No Pain. I also think it's probably just good to dupe this. Because then you have double Feel No Pain, double Talk to the Hand. How do you lose, right? Right? Double, that was a double, that was a double duplication potion. I could have doubled both of them. I'm so stupid, chat. All right, you get one bozo Payfrost, in chat right now. You get to call me a bozo Paper one single time. Dude, Chocolate Giga was so good. To make the map easier to read, and I posted a guide for colored map usage in your Discord. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that this morning. Thanks, man. What's the play here? We want to, we want to shuffle our deck. That's the play. The play is you always shuffle your deck here. Otherwise, when they when when the heart adds a bunch of statuses, even though I have Dark Embrace in, in Medkit, med you're still gonna draw nothing but butt cheeks, and you don't want to do that. Drawing nothing but butt cheeks, chat, is not good. As much as I would like to nestle myself between two large, anyways, um, is it Exhum talk to the hand? I think so. I'm just I'm just making sure in my brain that it's the right play, but I think it is. So then we can do that, and then we do this, and honestly, I think you just shuffle everything out, and you redraw into that second feel no pain. That's fine. Okay, we have like a billion block for next turn. It's pretty good. Drawing that there is good. Forty block this turn. No vulnerable. It's good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Hello, Void. Good to see you. <clears throat> yep. Frost, you have potions, JK. Hey, Fallen Empire, you're so funny. JK. Quick, uh, Pog Hal quickly calipers turns from useless to really good. That's always the goal. You always keep calipers in the back of your head. You know that it's not going to be good for a while, but eventually, eventually it'll have its time. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think of the most stable way to win this. Blancarns, what are those? What are drugs? Can you stop? Thank you for gifting a sub. Hol the answer is no, by the way. I was born to do this. Made for this, even. I have to. Turns out Bing Bong was a pretty good start. Yeah, maybe. Who could know, really, honestly? Ah! 
I was one off on the pendant. One final turn. You're going to hit me for 12 times 15. I'm going to hit you to death. It has been over six months that I've been playing this challenge. I think. I don't actually know when the first video came out. But it feels like six months. It was before I moved. And I... The first run that I did died on Ascension 17. I am now on Ascension 18 for the first time. Subscribing. Green Leo, think of the 11 months. You see what happened. I am going to be playing Ascension 18 live on my stream the day that this is uploaded. So if you want to come over and cheer me on, you're more than welcome to. If you want to wait and not be spoiled, you can also wait. I'll probably be uploading this immediately because you need to know. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the stream or tomorrow.